What has two thumbs and forgot what day it was? This guy. My bad. My bad, my bad. I was over there sending orders, answering calls, doing life. I forgot what day it was. Y'all, it's Tuesday and it's two o'clock-ish, which means it's time for art. I have a whole shirt on today. You're welcome to all the people concerned that I had situations hanging out. What's up, you guys? What is up, vamp? I hope you're breathing well through the um, therapy. Hope you're breathing well through the therapy. TG, what's up, Carrie? Um, I saw your message, but I haven't had time to respond so that we can pick out a day. It doesn't matter to me if you want to do um, split it up or do all at one time. Hypocrypts. Y'all laugh too hard at that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's on Facebook. Liverpool. Hi, Donna. How are you? Stephanie. Lynn. You're having a great day. I am. But then again, I think any day that you wake up is a great day. Let me get some of this. Hope my lighting's okay. Jeff isn't here to tell me about myself if it isn't. Y'all, I'm too busy for my own good. So, if you remember what happened on the last episode, we did an ocean. Hi, Betty. Hi, Amy. Holly. Stephanie. It is a great day. So, if you remember from the last episode, we did a this. And if you can't see it really well on here, there's texture in there. And then there's waves out here. Bam, bam, bam. Not gonna focus. Cool, whatever, you don't have to. So I did this, looks like I'm going to a Kentucky Derby. I did this yesterday. If you wanna see how it happened, check out that video. It's gonna be the one right before this one. And happen to love it but today we're gonna do layer dose hey Tish how are you doing Clara Susan ow my engagement rings in the way <laughs> I don't know if you guys know I've been trying to keep it a secret but I guess I can tell you know us friends I'm engaged last time I showed the camera my engagement ring it died I'm glad it didn't happen this time do you guys do that? Blow in your gloves before you put them on? No, me neither. So. I'm excited about this. Let's get right into it. Yeah? Yeah. Cue the intro. Ooh, I wasn't ready. I was having too much fun with my intro song. I'm going to bring back the stripper music. I swear I am. So, while my super awesome favorite resin is something, um, Stone Coat Art Coat, I am using not that for this because while it's my favorite for most applications, it just doesn't, it doesn't have any act right for oceans. However, just resin diamond coat does have act right. And I happen to carry it in my shop, artistilldeath.com. You can find that information right there. Wait, right there. Dun, 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 dun. Both of them are a one-to-one, -one, which makes life easy on me because maths 
are hard. I don't like to do the maths. There's spit in my gloves if you blow in it. That's fair. I don't think I spit in it though. I could be wrong. I've been wrong once or twice before. Where is the stripper music? <sighs> Jeff wanted that new logo, so we did the new logo with their music. So I, I just have to upload the old intro to bring back the stripper music. Thank you, Claire, for the reminder that you can get all the paste, cradle board, all the things from our website, artisttilldeath.com. The colors I'm using today are Abalone Shell by Resin Art. Take this. I'm using Angel White by Larez. It's paste. Sorry, it's so blown out. And Bondi Blue from Color Obsession. All those you can find on our website as well. What is that math you speak of? It's something about numbers. I don't know. I had to take a lot of it in high school, in college, in grade school, in places. I wish they taught more practical things, like saving, checkbooks, taxes. Anyways, common core math, I want no part of that. <laughs> Y'all, when we have a tea tiny resin artist, let me get in your face. When we have tea tiny resin artists, they're gonna learn regular human math, not this backwoods common core stuff. Not that if you know common core, you're backwoods. I just, I don't understand it, so therefore I hate it. Yeah. That's the other M I don't like. Those are two very horrible M's. I know the other one that you're not a fan of because I'm not a friend of the two. I'm watching you, Clara. Don't you drop the other M word. So, I got a response on one of my videos lately saying, I can't follow your videos because it's like I'm just watching you art. You don't really tell people what you're doing. So I'm going to try my best to talk my way through it and not just jibber jab the whole time, but be more like explanatory. That's not a word. Words are hard. I knew you were going to do it, Claire. I knew you were going to do it. So, if you don't know, this is resin. It is a two-part mix. The ones that I use are typically one-to-one. -one. You have to mix it for three minutes to make sure you have a full and complete mixture. You want to make sure everything's fully incorporated, so we scrape our edges, the bottom of the cup, and the stir stick. If you don't, you'll end up with weak spots or your piece will never, ever set, which is horrible either way. Clara, dead gummit. Now holding position um, interviews for resident resin stirrer. Apply with it. TG, you're going to have to get after her. She likes to drop the M-bomb. Right. That feels like three minutes. Probably not. Probably way off. Also, it's fine. Just kidding, resin. All right, so unlike Artco, which has two hour working time, this has a 45 minute working time, and it's a pretty strict working time when things are getting warm like they are here in Dallas. Now I just want to say a bunch in chat so it gets off my screen. Go ahead, spam my chat feed. I wonder if people in this, the live chat, if that chat counts for, um, like engagement on a video or if it's just the comments, if you know, comment down below many times. Um, Renata, did I say that right? I probably didn't say that right. 
Hello from Greece. I would love to get married in Greece. But y'all, that is an expensive ticket all the, the way around. You're really glammed up today. I find that if I wash my hair, I want to put lashes on. Anyone else? Mags from Worcestershire. Mm, I'm sure I said that wrong too. Amy, you're working on a coral reef inspired by me. I can't wait to see it. I love coral reefs. I'm going to do another one of those. And in fact, I'm going to do it probably down with Rhonda next time I go down there. Clara, you're welcome to come and help out. I haven't set a date. Ooh, actually, maybe the end of this month. Um, so that she can help me to create a better texture for my mica powder coral reef. <laughs> We're working on it. You have no lashes at all. You want to learn how to put eyelashes on? Girl, I can teach you. Boop, boop. It takes me all of probably 60 seconds. It's around a minute to put lashes on. But that includes time waiting for the glue to dry. Way to go, Clara. Ugh. All right, so this is Lorez Angel White, and it is a paste. It's titanium based, I'm pretty sure, because it's very heavy. And you can tell because it sinks through the resin, which is also one of the reasons why it sells so well. You wanna use heavy white. That's why I don't use inks or dyes or tints for my white when I do an ocean. Do a video on putting them on. I want to learn them too. I will do a get ready with me one day. How about that? So you can know my whole not so glamorous routine. How about that? Naxos Island. I'm sure I said that wrong too, but that, you guys, if you haven't seen like photos of weddings in Greece, look up it because it is beautiful there. I just love the beautiful ocean color next to all the stark white buildings. I have no idea how they're so like perfectly white. Okay, so I added three drops of the Bondi blue tint and apparently a little couple, two sprinkles extra, but essentially three drops. And this is gonna be my dark bit of the ocean. Even though I have dark to light already, I want a little bit I want to add to that depth on this layer, but on my, the main bit, I'm only doing probably just one drop of white. I mean, one drop of colorant, the tint. See it down there? Bam, ocean water. Bam, ocean water. So the face camera has a better color representation than in this one. This one looks a little bit blue, but it's actually closer to this right here. Makeup is art, it's true. There's people for that, they're annoying. They are annoying. Go Latisse. Doesn't it take forever for that to actually, like doesn't that just grow your own lashes, Stephanie? Oh, so you do costume makeup, Tish. Like, um, what is it? Not synthetic when you have, like, latex stuff. I can't believe I forgot that word. Words are hard. Anyways, let's get on with it. Okay. Hey, Sam, how are you doing? Clara wants elf ears. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is something. I'm going to figure out where I want my next wave to be. I think I want it to just come up into this bit. And I always stagger how my waves look. So if I have this one that has this 
lower and then higher like this. I'll usually switch it up and have like the low one here and then the high one on this side. Because if you just stack them and then have the second wave come in with the same pattern, it's not really realistic, is it? It's not. Prosthetics, thank you, words. Okay. So we're gonna start, I don't know where we're gonna start. Let's come down right here and back up and then meet down here. I wanna make sure I leave an inch and a half back from my shoreline because it's inevitable that your resin's gonna wanna roll forward, especially if you have a lot of resin on your board. So you wanna leave that vacant so if it does creep up, it doesn't break the the shoreline that you've already created with this first wave. Common Core is super ridiculous. Who's coming to Texas? Oh, Tish, you're coming to Texas? When's that? All right, we're starting on this side. Sweet. I know you can't really see that, but this is where I'm at. That line that I just drew on with my finger, that's where we are. Okay, okay, okay. So now I'm gonna do my, no, I'm gonna start with my deep color. It's gonna put it there in the back and then just a little bit of some through here. That way I have depth. Depth. <gasps> no, I forgot to add my abalone shell. Man. See what happens when I'm not paying attention. So I'm going to add not a lot, just like we're going to start with just a scoop. Of abalone shell to give a little bit of extra sparkle. to our ocean. You don't want to add too much of anything because the more of anything you add, the harder it's going to be to see through to your first layer and your first layer is going to have that texture that you added with um, the aluminum from the last video. And I'm not filling all the voids because if I do that, my layer is going to be a thicker layer than it should be and it's going to be more likely to run forward. Resin likes to self-level at about an eighth inch so we're going to try to make our resin happy and stay at an eighth inch or less. And I'm just going to use my finger to fill in any areas that I didn't just pour resin into because resin is going to go where it's already been Resin's a creature of habit, apparently. So I'm just mixing in some of that bling it that didn't quite make it into my first little bit of resin I added. Cool, 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 tight, tight, tight. Now, Erica, question, I'm just getting on, sorry if you already addressed this, but when you do a second layer, are you adding more clear resin to the same pigments or using different colored pigments? Hi, Karen, how are you? Um, I'm using the same pigments but you can use different ones I just Bondi blue is my ace for ocean color and so I'm not going to deviate from that really because it's already perfect and the reason I'm adding colorant at all to this layer is to tint some of the white from the first layer so it looks like that part of a wave where it goes you know a wave comes in and it curls and then it goes back out. So when the wave breaks, it's white and frothy and foamy and then it goes under the wave, still frothy and foamy because it's got air in it. But it's got a blue hue because it's under the wave. So because of that, I tint this layer. You can, if you want to, just put clear. I'm not using the Prussian blue that I used on the first layer just because I don't want it too dark. I want to still be able to see everything through it and 
that would make it just too dark. October, that's fun time. And also, yeah, it's transparent colors. All right, so I'm having to put some of this white on with just the stick instead of pouring it on because I don't want it to be poured out too thick. I want to be able to control the thinness, thickness, thinness. I want to be able to control it. I'm still making sure to touch part of the dry resin from yesterday and also part of the clear that we just laid down. And this, just like yesterday, is gonna help our wave to stretch and not just roll straight to the back. You can already tell that I have probably a little bit too much resin on here because my clear is rolling over the white. So when I set this in my dust free zone, I'm probably gonna have to like put a popsicle stick under the area where the sand is so that it keeps everything pushed. So it doesn't roll over and cover up my first wave because if this wave comes up far enough and breaks this one, it's not going to look natural because the resin's going to self level over this seam where my shoreline is now. And you'll see that little hump where it goes over this, this part. <coughs> How much resin did you mix? I mixed, I mixed something. Hold on. I mixed six ounces for, I don't know why, but I still have, I still have probably an ounce and a half to two ounces left. So for the back of this 20 inch, but it's inset, so it's probably a 15 inch, I would have just mixed four ounces and it would have been plenty. Claire nailed it. Okay, so we're gonna do like we always do, put it on a slight tilt. I'm using a groom's cake concentrator because I left my wedding cake one at Rhonda's. Still high heat, still high airflow. Gonna edge up the front of this wave because it got a little thin. Uh, no, I just dip that in the clear, so that's happening. I'm gonna edge up the front of this one. Almost did it again. So I didn't push it all the way to the back, and that is because reasons. And the reason is I'm going to have to set it on a tilt for it to not roll back up. So it's going to just flow that way naturally anyways. Let me get you guys. Uh, Karen, this is actually Angel White by Larez, also available on my website. I'll give you guys a little bit of a close-up. So this is a softer web, sty web style, softer wave style. 
then my typical push all the way to the back. But I like this directional. I don't know if that's because of how I was holding the heat gun or if it's because um, it's a groom's cake instead of a wedding cake. So it, the hole for the concentrator nozzle is wider. So I don't know if that's a trait of that. But it's good to know that the groom's cake works similar to the wedding cake. Well, I'll have to try out Latisse then. When I first heard about Latisse, it was like prescription only. So. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Betty. Kim, I did not see your question for black light. Uh, but Evelyn's correct. I have two colors from just resin and one color from stone coats. So Karen, it's, it's fairly similar, I would say, to the just resin titanium. It is thicker than the color obsession white, um, snow white, but I like it. It doesn't look like Angel White likes the torch as much as um, titanium, but it definitely sells at least as pretty as um, something, titanium. So I'm gonna grab a couple popsicle sticks so that I can brace this in the dust free zone. And I'll be right back. Okay. I have some resin left. So let's do just a few coasters. These are the clear coasters from our website. If you haven't seen them before, they're super handy because, well, they're clear, so that's already amazing, but you can peel one side of the backing off because it comes on both sides. Peel one side off, pour on it, leave the other side on, and then after your piece sets, you can take the side, the masking off, and there's no cleanup because it just protected your it protected your backside. So Latisse is, um, it is not a medication, really. It's, it's something you put on your lashes to grow thicker, longer lashes. I haven't tried it personally, but it sounds like Stephanie has, and it sounds like it works. I just haven't had a chance. Um, it is not the same UV protection, Clara. Stone Coat has better UV protection and better durability. However, it doesn't work with as much heat as I like to use. Therefore, I'll just do that. And if I need to, I'll clear coat everything with Art Coat so it has a little bit more protection. If I know the piece is going to be like in direct sunlight and whatnot. 
right. Have an awesome day, Vamp. Have fun tattooing. Waste not, want not, people. All right. We're going to put just a little bit more abalone. Because I can. Oh, who do you think you're talking to? All right. Evelyn, my mom has eyeliner tattooed on. She's a G. We're gonna end up using all five of these coasters. But she got hers done like 20 years ago. And her eyes were like swollen shut for a couple weeks. But 20 years later, she still has eyeliner and she's gonna have to put it on every day. Oh, Karen, you also have your lips done. So Corky is talking to me about doing a class in Fort Myers. She found me um, a venue to teach class. Any of you guys in and around that area or would you attend? I gotta fill a class with between 10 and 15 students to be able to Get down there. Did your brows too? You guys are getting it with that stuff. I, I'm a wuss when it comes to pain. Let's put some abalone in our dark color as well. Um, we haven't set dates yet, and I don't know if we'll end up doing Bowie. I don't know if we'll end. Hey, sir. End up doing um, why are words so hard today? Santa Cruz before or after? Just have to see how it all plays out. Have an awesome day, Sue. Okay. We're just doing little ocean coasters. These. Because waste not, want not. way too much resin on the surface of these. I'm gonna just do that. Hey 
Hey, bug. Um, Amy, I have it on order. I'm just waiting on Color Obsession to send me notification of shipping. When you do coasters, you want to do a thinner line of white because you don't want it to just cover all of your ocean. That wouldn't be very natural. Bowie, who are you talking to? All of this is too thick of a white, but we're going to roll with it anyway. I'm just trying right now to match up the white with my shoreline, the water. So it's got to be at least touching the water for it to give me a nice wave. If I leave it just touching nothing or the um, only touching the surface and not contact with the water, it will not flow like we want it to. taken over. Let's switch this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Nope. Oh. Oh, it does like a torch. Okay. I am corrected. Angel White does just fine with a torch. Why? Why? Okay. What? Y'all, I don't know what is happening. I know it, Billy. have to be good enough. Move this one over too so I don't ruin it. where it isn't selling enough for me, I'm just hitting it with just a little bit of heat from the torch to break it up just a little bit more. See that? Let's not put that back there. Let's put it over here. Let's see that again. It's gonna sell, but it just isn't really right now. So let's hit it with just a little bit of heat in those thin areas. The cells will pop right out. Just be careful with the torch because it's super easy to scorch your resin. 
which will leave like a scab type of look or just turn it like it'll pre-amber it. Ugh. These are so fun and easy to do. Not a bad way to earn $5 a piece. There, bunch of little bee baby oceans, except for this. Okay, let's see if I can fix it. And if you scorch, you have to sand it off before flood coat. You would at least want to sand down any texture that may have happened. Okay. We got it covered. Let's see if I can. Bowie's dad may be home. What's up, Tim? So, let me change the. Change the this. If you don't, will it show through the next layer? It depends. If you have a lot of texture and just do another layer, it could show through if it's higher than an eighth inch. But if you scorch it yellow, you're gonna have to use pretty opaque color to hide the yellow that would show from scorching it. I have many times turned my white wave yellow from just getting to Porch crazy. Just edge up some of these shorelines. Okay. Any wedding updates? Not yet. Soon. Soon. Make sure I've got room in the dust free zone. What's y'all's favorite white to use for oceans? Do you do transparents? bad look. Necessary. He apparently thinks all that is very necessary.
so y'all thank you for the reminder please make sure to remember to like subscribe share leave me a comment tell me what you think I really don't care if it's a bad comment or a good comment but I do like to know what you guys think because I can't make a better channel without y'all's feedback. Gotta have Yun's feedback. What, Bo, you can come up? You wanna say hi to the peoples? What was it you didn't like in the coral reef base? Um. I can't remember, but I feel like I ended up liking the base just fine. I think I would have added more of that red in it, which I will do if I do another one. Another great life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, please check us out in all these places. I didn't do it wrong again. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And um, y'all have an awesome day. It's Tuesday. Go do something great. Uh, I won't be doing, well, I'll be filling orders, which can be considered great, I suppose. But um, I hope you have a great one. And if you try anything we do on the channel, make sure you tag us so I can see it. Because I love to see what you guys do. I get inspired so much from y'all's creations. And um, yeah, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, yeah. And always remember... We do the test so you don't have to. No banter? Nothing? Jeff's not here. Oh, yeah. Anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. I said bye. Bowie and Bowie. Can you go to Jeff? Go see him. Go read the key cap.